Today's lesson will be lesson two. Explaining fractions and simplifying them. All of our videos you can find on mymathmanual.com. First, we want to have a couple ideas of understanding. The first one I want to talk about is if we have two numbers like 1 and 2, we can write these two numbers as a fraction of each other. For example, we can write 1 over 2. The top number we would say is the numerator this one, the top one. It's always going to be the numerator. The bottom one, we can say is the denominator. It's always going to be the bottom one. Numerator, denominator. Bottom, top. These are two special names for these. You could also take this fraction 1 over 2. This could also be written as 1 divided by 2 which if you take that you equal 0.5 you always take the top one and divide it by the bottom number and you'll get a decimal that way now let's talk about whole numbers for a second whole numbers are like numbers you would call like counting numbers like for example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth. The dot, dot, dot just means they can, you can keep on counting to like whatever number you can count to. A million, trillion, whatever. Um, also, this includes zero. So, whole numbers are like numbers that you usually count with and zero. So it would be zero... One, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. We could also write whole numbers as fractions. An example to this would be two over one. Or we could say we'll take one and three and we'll make that into a fraction. We say one over three. These are all whole numbers. We can also make it into fractions. As we continue with this, we can have a couple more rules. Any number over 1 can be written as a fraction, and any, any number over 1 will equal itself. Like, for example, 2 over 1 is 2. Another example would be 3 over 1. That would equal 3. Another example would be 4 over 1. That would equal 4. You can do this with any whole number. So, 100 over 1 would equal 100. Let's do another one. Another rule would be any number under zero. For example, one over zero. What does this equal? It always equals zero. So if you have a number then under zero, it's always going to be zero because you cannot divide by zero. Because this is like saying one divided by zero. That's zero. For another example would be four over zero. This would also be zero or 3 over 0 is also equal 0. You can pick any number, say 25 over 0. This is 0. It's always going to stay the same, no matter what. Let's go over another definition. A fraction mixed with a whole number are called arithmetic numbers. So fractions 
mixed with whole numbers. These are called arithmetic numbers. This sign just means number. Would be one half, or I would say three. So we know this is a fraction, that's a whole number. That's fine. This is all arithmetic numbers that you can think of. Four, three, seven, one, five, zero. So you, that list can go on for a really long time. So you can think of any of those numbers, and they'd be arithmetic numbers. Whole numbers mix with fractions. So let's go over another rule. Any number add it, any number add it, this means addition, by zero will equal the original number. For example, one plus zero is one. Two plus zero is two. Three plus zero is three. Just remember all these rules that we're talking about. They will come in handy. Rules and definitions, mostly the rules. Now let's let's talk about any number multiplied by one will equal the original number. So 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3. 5 times 1 is 5. Just remember these rules. We'll come back to them a little bit later. Another rule that you should know any number divided by itself is equal to 1. So for example, 2 divided by 2 is 1, or 2 over 2 is the same thing. This sign you can think of as a division. So two divided by two is one. Or if you can't if you don't want to do that, you can just think of two over two, that's a fraction. That's one. Another one would be three over three is one. Or seven over seven is one. Or one hundred and twenty-five over one hundred and twenty-five is equal to 1. All these are going to come in handy, these rules. And this one that we're talking about here is going to come in handy the most, is what we're going to talk about next. Now, we're going to understand principles of fractions. How to simplify them? Um, say we have, this would be the first example that we have. Say we have 1 over 2, or 1 half, and we multiply this by 2 over 2. Now we know something over something is just 1, so we're not changing this problem. So we're just 1 half multiplied by 1. So we're not changing this problem, and we'll see this in a second. So let's look at what the answer would this be? So to multiply this, you just multiply top to top, bottom to bottom. So 1 times 2, so 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2, 4. Okay? Now we're going to do the same thing, but in the reverse. If we have 2 over 4, Let's let's break this up. Two and four. Remember those factoring trees? This is one and two. Two and two. 
Now we're going to take these numbers. This is the top number, so we'll put these numbers on top. 1 times 2 over 2, 2. This is the same thing as 1. 2 over 2 is 1. It's the same thing. So really, this just turns into 1. So we can just take, take this and drop it down. 1 half times 1 is what? 1 half. Example 2. Let's take 42 over 24. Let's break this apart. 42 and 24. 14 and 3. 2 and 7. 7 is a prime, 2 is a prime, 3 is a prime. You can do this 12 and 2. 2 is a prime. 6 and 2. 2 is a prime. 2 and 3. These are all primes. Now, we're going to write this down here. We'll just take each number. This is going to be the top one. This is going to be the bottom one. We'll take all the primes and put them on top. So, 2, 3, 7. These are going to be all be multiplied together. And we'll take these ones and put them on the bottom. 2 times 2 times 3 times 2. Now, if this doesn't have a pair with it, you just put one on top. You can cross any one from the bottom that you see from the top one. Or the top one from the bottom one. So there's a two here and a two here. I can cross those ones out. I have a three here and a three here and cross those out. Now I'm left with seven times one on top and two times two. You multiply those. You get 7 over 4. Let's do example 3. Sample 3, let's say we have 18 over 20. Take 18, make the factoring tree. 20, make the factoring tree. 18, we have 6 and 3. 2 and 3, circle the primes, 2 and 10, 2 and 5. Now you just take those, 2 times 3 times 3. Then you put these ones on the bottom because this is 20, this gets on the bottom, 2 times 2 times 5. You look for the ones that are similar from the top and bottom. So this is the same as 1. So we can cancel those out. And so means we don't have anything else that matches from the bottom and the top. We'll just multiply those across. So let's bring this one down. 3 times 3 over 2 times 5. You know 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 5 is 10. And this is the simplified version of this. So if you need to simplify for this fraction, you can do this process and get 9 tenths. Let's talk about things that you shouldn't do when you're canceling the fractions. Say we have 1 plus 5 over 5 plus 2 can't do this. Cancel the fives, then just do one half. This is not correct. It's because you're adding. You have to be multiplying those in order to do that. And the correct answer of this would be 5 plus 1 is 6. 5 plus 2 is 7. So it would be 6 sevenths.
Another thing that you can do is 25 or 6-2. You think these are being multiplied, but they're just regular numbers. You can't just do this. And then go, oh, that's 5, 6. That's not correct. It would just be the 25 over 62. This can't do. Let's do another one. Last example, 12 over 144. Let's do the factoring tree for both. This is 12 times 12. 12, which numbers can you think of? 2 and 6. Circle your primes. 2 and 6. 3 and 2. 2 and 6. Circle your primes. 3 2. Put all these ones on top. 2 times 3 times 2. Put all those ones on bottom. 2 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 2. And if they don't have pairs or matching up, you just times it by 1 on top. So this is 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 2. This is the same thing if you broke this up as 2 over 2, multiplied by 3 over 3, multiplied by 2 over 2, multiply 1 over 2, multiply by 1 over 3, multiply by 1 over 2. And we know anything over anything is 1, so that just becomes 1. Anything over any, that is 1. 1. So we're just left with these. So what you do, again, to multiply any fraction, you just top by the top. So you get 1, 2 times 2 times 3, 2 times 3 times 2, 12. So you have 12. 1 times, time, one, times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 12, 1 12 is 1 12. So we know this reduces to 1 12. This concludes lesson 2. If you have any more questions, just make a comment underneath the video or email us directly, and you can reach us at mymathmanual.com. Thank you for watching.